Hello friends, welcome to Creative Zone. In this video, I'm going to tell you about semiconductor. Mm, not semiconductor actually. Before understanding semiconductor, we should know about band theory, conductor, uh, insulator. Okay, so I'll complete the semiconductor tutorial in five parts by following this content. Okay, that's why today's title is the band theory. So let's begin. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> band theory here I'm taking an atom this is the nucleus this is first orbit and this is second orbit I'm taking same atom once again okay suppose this atoms are of X substance from both theory we know particular orbit has particular energy and electron has also particular energy okay now I'm taking this electrons energy I mean energy value on graph 1 2 3 and it's a straight line because these atoms are of the same substance. Now second orbit. It's the same as before. It's also a straight line. But these lines are not the band. Now question is what is band actually? Okay see. Here I have kept the atom away from another one. But we know a solid made by billion, trillion or more atoms. In case atoms are in tune with each other and they are affected by one another. As a result, electrons energy diversity is seen. Now focus on the graph. See, straight line has gone and we got a zigzag line. Zigzag line means the variation of energy value. If we close the zigzag line by lower and upper energy limit, then we will get our most expected band. It's actually energy band, whatever. Now focus on this atom. This orbit is the first energy band. And this is the second one. Whatever. There are many kind of energy band, three of which are main. These are balance band, conduction band, and forbidden energy gap. Okay, balance band. This band has highest energy and far from nucleus. This band partially or completely filled by electron. This band never be empty. It's a very important note. This band never be empty. Actually, balanced electron are loosely attached to the nucleus. If you give a specific energy to balanced electron from outside, then this balanced electron jump to conduction band as free electron. This free electron transport electricity. Now forbidden energy gap. It's located between balance and conduction band. Actually, this gap distance means how much energy is needed to get free electron from balanced band. Whatever, that's all the band theory. Please comment if you face any problem about this topic. Stay with Creative Zone. See you on next video. Have a nice day.